I've been living here my whole life just about and he's I've been hearing him being in the streets selling plates and you know doing all this stuff and a lot of people say that his food is really great so I had to check it out for myself. And I had a big old yellow Cadillac with a grill behind it and I used to just go to the clubs on the weekend and cook and after that kind of died down and I got laid off one day I just ran across a baked potato that I seen online somewhere and I think it was in Florida somewhere. I came home and cooked it one day, and after that, I sold it for like six months every day, like 30, 40 potatoes at a time. I decided that I wanted a restaurant after culinary art school. He reached out, and we decided to open the Straw Hat together. We got a lot of soul food, a lot of different things that, you know, people kind of like to buy on a daily basis. You know how you go places and there's some version of something and you're like, that's not supposed to be like that. You know, like I just, this is the original, this should be the staple of what soul food should be. Um, back in the slavery days, the straw hat represented so much more than just being a shield for the heat. I tied my food and my menu into that. This is like part of it behind me. I wanted to make everyone aware of where the original soul food came from. It wasn't just a name they threw out. When I was real little, um, my mom used to cheer me up by taking me to Top Hat. And they had the spicy chicken. And I've been cooking for years, over 20 years, and I've always wanted to recreate that recipe. Because I remember when I was little, biting it and all my tears go away like it just did something to me and you could taste the love and the seasoning in the food so i wanted to make sure that was a part of my everyday menu